Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series of mobile computing and wireless communication. I am your instructor Ms. Alba Rupala. Continuing with our topic that is GSM. So today we are going to learn in GSM about GSM call routing. Now what is GSM call routing? So, uh, so basically when we are calling someone and we are receiving a call. At that time into the network there is multiple fundamentals being carried out. Okay. So what are the fundamental? We will discuss in detail. Then after mobile terminated call and mobile originated call, we will learn this both the fundamental of call routing in detail. So basically starting with our topic that is GSM call routing. So the GSM call routing is mainly divided into two processes that is first one mobile terminated call and second one mobile originated call. So your mobile terminated call is nothing but what your incoming call. Obviously at the time of GSM frequency allocation I had told you that we are having two type of link uplink and downlink. So uplink is kind of MS sending signal to BTS. Okay and downlink is kind of BTS is sending signal to MS. So at this process, ultimately when you are receiving a call, then it is what? Incoming. And when you are dialing a call, then it is what? Outgoing. So your incoming call will be referred to as in a technical term as mobile terminated call. And your outgoing call will be referred to as mobile originated call. So basically, whenever the mobile terminated call occurs this process will be very difficult or complex one because anyone who is calling you doesn't know that that you are in a home network or you are in a foreign network but mobile originated call that means of an outgoing call there is no something kind of fundamental like we need to identify that we are in a home network or we are in a foreign network we are directly just calling so so basically we will learn both the uh, both the Calling mechanism or processes in detail. So first one is mobile terminated call. So we can see in diagram in mobile terminated call basically we don't know that currently that we are in a home network or we are in a foreign network. So first of all suppose we are taking an example like some XYZ local landline phone had called some GSM mobile subscriber okay any local landline phone had called GSM subscriber so the known number is what MSISDN number so according to MSISDN number the uh, landline number must uh, must to call okay and here we are having two different kind of network. Firstly, it is a PST network and secondly, it is a GSM network. So for communication of these two network, we must need G GMIC, that is Gateway Mobile Switching Center. Okay, so basically your calling station is calling by MSISDN number. Now it will be redirected to the PSTN exchange. Now the PSTN exchange will identify that which ultimately MSISDN number you are talking about of that subs uh, the that operator. Okay, it will identify the GMSC of that operator and it will redirect the your call to the GMSC of the MSISDN number operator. Now GSM will send this MSISDN number data to the HLR to identify that particular your MSR, uh, MS is in a home network or it is in a foreign network. So HLR will see or look for the VLR or the information of the of roaming to the VLR of its own. So ultimately information will be provided from the HLR to VLR with the MSISD number. Now VLR will check that 
your particular ms is in the area of home or another foreign area if it is in another foreign area then that vli must have registered with the msrn number and that msrn number is stored or provided to the hlr of home network so now the msrn number will be provided it to hlr hlr will send that msrn number to the gmsc okay now hlr will send that msrn number to the gmsc now gmsc with that msrn number will directly go to the relevant foreign networks msc it will redirect uh, direct that data from the gmsc to msc of the foreign network now msc will check for the information of the subscriber in the vlr of its own now vlr will have some temporary number tmsi number so the vlr will give that tmsi number to the msc the tmsi number to the msc now it is the task of msc to send paging information okay to send paging information now that paging information will be spreaded to all the bss under the under that msc now that relevant bsc will send same paging message to the bts now that bts will locate or will send that same uh, message paging message to the network area or to the cell area if in relevant bts there is an ms then it will respond with that paging no message okay it will respond to that paging message and that will be redirected to again bts then bsc then msc now msc will register that user and will link the call with the home network and will give the information to the vlr and vlr then finally send the linked information to the msc to the bss and so to the bsc to the bts and to the ms now this way the call will be connected so hope you all understood that why there is a long uh, wait while we are calling someone because in a background there is a long process which is being carried out okay and there is a multiple addresses and identifiers which are being used for security purpose and for authentication purpose identity purpose okay so this process is very much of complex if we talk about the mobile terminated call because we don't know that we are in a home network or we are in a foreign network next one mobile originated call as i have told you earlier that mobile originated call is a little bit simpler than mobile terminated call in originated call we don't need to uh, check or verify that we are in a home network or we are in a foreign network just directly we are opening our mobile phone and we are dialing the number so ultimately suppose in our example we are again taking the example in which gsm subscriber is calling some pstn local landline telephone so this process will again go through the gmsc so ultimately at whatever foreign or home network i am or my ms is i will directly send uh, uh, or call the paging information to the bss or that means relevant bts to bsc and that vsc will send relevant uh, data to the relevant msc now msc will check for the information to the vlr of their own okay suppose it is a home network then it must uh, need to go to check vlr if it is in a foreign network again it will need to go to vlr so if it is in a foreign or uh, foreign network or if it is in a home network vlr is important now vlr will give the connection link to the msc then after the msc will go to the gmsc now gmsc will check uh, go to the pstn now that pstn link will be provided to again gmsc that will be given to the msc then it, it will be given to the bsc then it will be given to the bts and then after the final calling link will be given to the ms now this call is connected setup is completed now you can talk on it so this is the process of mobile originated call two processes are there mobile terminated call and mobile originated call so we had learned today regarding to the gsm call topic
Thank you. We will meet again in next lecture.